Asteroid 2024 ON This asteroid will come within 0.62 million miles of the Earth's surface on Tuesday, and while it poses no threat to our planet, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory have labelled this object as potentially hazardous. Asteroid 2024 ON has an estimated diameter of around 1,575 feet, which is 480 metres in diameter. This asteroid will whip past the Earth at 19,842 miles per hour. That is around 26 times the speed of sound at a distance of 0.62 million miles. And think about this, potentially hazardous at this distance which is almost three times the distance of the moon in the year 2029, an altogether potentially hazardous object will encounter the Earth much, much closer. On Friday, April the 13th, in the year 2029, an asteroid the size of the Empire State Building will come within 18,500 miles from our planet's surface. This close proximity is almost unthinkable, but nobody seems to be talking about it. Why is that? Look at the activity of space agencies around the world. They are mobilising, developing missions to launch in 2027, retraining old missions already in space and sending them to the Apophis asteroid. And the reason for this is simple. If asteroid Apophis has been perturbed in the asteroid belt by another object, then the trajectory of that asteroid may have been altered onto a collision course with our planet. We won't be able to see Apophis till 2027 from Earth's vantage, so to gain earlier insights into what's going on with this asteroid, space missions have been sent to rendezvous. And get this, NASA classifies any object within 120 million miles of Earth's surface as a near-Earth object, and considers those within 4.65 million miles as potentially hazardous. The asteroid Apophis will come within 18,500 miles of our planet's surface. This is an unthinkable close approach for an object of this size, and this is sure to be a cause for major concern in the years ahead as this event unfolds. NASA have already claimed to have successfully altered the orbit of a non-hazardous asteroid, Dimorphos, and this marked the first planetary defence test, and NASA called the mission a success beyond expectations. The test was called the Double Asteroid Redirect Test. China too is in early planning for an asteroid redirect mission, which would involve 23 Long March 5 rockets to target asteroid Bennu. The Chinese mission aims to divert Bennu, which will approach within 4.6 million miles of Earth between the years 2175 and 2199, and they hope to alter Bennu's trajectory off its current path. However, China have said if all else fails, then they'd nuke an asteroid that posed any threat to humanity. This is all testing preparedness, and it doesn't end there. India, Saudi Arabia, Russia and the European Union are all in developing stages for countermeasures to stop an asteroid should it ever come onto a trajectory course with the planet Earth. The Indian Space Research Organisation has recently issued warnings about this asteroid emphasising the need for vigilant monitoring and preparedness. The ISRO's concerns about Apophis stem from its size and the close proximity of its future approaches to the planet Earth. Apophis is 450 metres in diameter, making it significantly larger than many other near-Earth objects that are tracked. Its closest approach is expected on April the 13th in the year 2029, when it will come within 18,000 500 miles of Earth, that is closer than many geosynchronous satellites. This unprecedented proximity has led to the ISRO to classify Apophis as a potentially hazardous asteroid. 
Recent studies have suggested that Apophis could be perturbed onto a collision course with the Earth due to gravitational interactions with other celestial bodies or even minor collisions with smaller space debris. While the probability of such an event remains low, the potential consequences are severe enough to warrant serious consideration. An Earth collision with an asteroid of Apophis's size, while not an extinction level event, it could cause continental scale devastation or even global disruption if it were to impact a densely populated area and this could lead to the global effects of a nuclear winter. To prevent a potential collision, several mitigation strategies are currently being proposed. The warnings issued by the ISRO regarding asteroid Apophis highlights the importance of planetary defence and the need for continued research and international cooperation. The probability of a collision remains low, but the potential consequences are too severe to ignore. By exploring and implementing various mitigation strategies, our humanity can better prepare for and potentially prevent a catastrophic impact event. But what do you guys think about this? Comments below and thank you for watching.